This is a Geiger counter. Every click you hear is a little piece of ionizing radiation, which in this device could be alpha, beta, X-ray or gamma rays passing through its detector. The faster the clicks, the more radiation there is. Ionizing radiation is of particular interest because unlike lower power electromagnetic radiation like visible light, microwaves and radio waves, it can slam into atoms with enough energy to knock off electrons or break the atoms apart, creating new secondary radiation in the process. This can damage our DNA and lead to cancer, but if there is enough of it, say being near an open reactor core like at Chernobyl for 10 minutes, it will rip your cells to shreds and kill you in a matter of days or less. It can also affect our modern electronics, corrupting data, causing glitches and destroying the tiny unprotected transistors in integrated circuits. In the HBO dramatization of Chernobyl, Valery Legasov described the neutrons released by the reactor core as being like tiny bullets. But the power of these tiny bullets varies hugely. A simple analogy would be that if the weakest particles were like an airsoft gun pellet, then the most powerful would be trillions of times more powerful than the biggest electromagnetic railgun projectile. What makes them so different is the amount of energy they have, and this is measured in EV or electron volts. The higher the EV, the faster they travel, and like a bullet, the faster it travels, the more kinetic energy it will release when it hits something. A proton in the solar wind might have 10 keV or 10 to the power of 4 electron volts, whereas a proton from a coronal mass ejection or solar flare might have 10 mega electron volts or 10 to the power of 7. We can make these high energy particles in machines like the Large Hadron Collider, a particle accelerator. Protons, ions and other particles are accelerated around a 27 km tunnel under the Swiss-French border using extremely high power magnets and then smashed into each other in head-on collisions to see what they're made of and to reveal the building blocks of matter. The highest energy level that has been achieved by the LHC was equivalent to 1 peta electron volts or 10 to the power of 15. But out there in the universe, somewhere, there are particles that have been accelerated to plainly incredible speeds by something that is far more powerful than the biggest supernova. Bearing in mind that these are most likely protons and possibly ions, in other words, parts of a nuclei of atoms and the same stuff that we are made out of and that have mass and that are not massless photons that travel at the speed of light, then the speed that they are traveling at is truly astonishing. When the first one was detected in 1991 by the Fly's Eye Detector, in the Dugway Proving Ground, Utah, it was traveling at 99.999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
would be blue shifted to gamma ray radiation with much higher energy. Slamming into this much high energy would slow the particle down over the vast distances. So the maximum distance they could have come from is believed to be about 160 million light years away. But there is nothing that we can see now that close that is powerful enough to have generated this. So it's still a bit of a mystery, although they do appear to be coming from the same area of sky. However, they are also incredibly rare with one of these OMG particles showing up per square kilometer of space per year. Only 72 have been observed since 1991, which is far too small a statistical sample to say where they really come from. So what would happen if one hit you? Well, apart from a barely noticeable atom size hole, not much. But you would be showered in secondary radiation from all the atoms it interacted with on its way towards you. And then the same again with all the atoms it interacted with inside you as it went through. Which incidentally, is the same method used to irradiate tumors in the body, but without an OMG particle. So thanks for watching and don't forget to check out some of our other videos if you get the time and please subscribe, thumbs up and share.